doing that. It sounds good, don't it? Hey guys, what's going on though? I mean, I just wanted to do a review like about like I just wanted to do a ugh. I just wanted to do a review like I said I was going to on the iBlock Sportline Springs for the 2013 Genesis Coupe. Um, but first I, I do want to apologize. You guys can probably hear it. It is raining, so if you hear the uh winter wipers going and the rain and stuff, I do apologize for that. I can't do anything about that. That's out of my hands. So, um, all right, well, so for the last few days, I've been driving my Genesis on the Sportline Springs, and overall, it's not that bad, really. I mean, like, my Genesis is the R-Spec, so it already had a stiffer suspension on it to begin with, but I would probably say the more heavy bumps, like that one right there, you can actually feel how stiff the suspension really is when you go over really hard bumps. But overall, I'm actually really, really pleased with them, especially since coming from the stock, which was already pretty stiff itself, it didn't really have that great of a ride on the R-Spec Edition anyways. So going to the iBox Sport Lines, it's not that big of a difference. I'd probably say the the biggest complaint right now for me is though is I can hear the springs when I do hit bigger bumps in the rear end, I can hear the, the springs compressing all the way and hitting each other. It's not that bad. I mean you just if you would turn the radio on a little bit you couldn't hear it. But I mean it's it's a very subtle thud. And I mean, that that's really about it. But for daily driving, like I drive my car daily, so I live in the city though, so I mean like the majority of these roads are, are the majority of these roads are nicely paved, but some of them do have their potholes and stuff like that, and you just gotta kinda try to swerve around them, just like with any lowered car. But I don't really know what else to really say about them. I mean, like, they're if if you guys are looking for um, if you guys are looking for Sportline Springs for your Genesis, also it is a two inch drop in the front and a one and a quarter inch drop in the back, right off the bat. And if they should maybe settle a little bit more, but if not, I mean, they they still look really really well the way that they are and the 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 way that the car handles now though also it, it, it are, the way that the car handles now compared to the way it was before is like at least sorry at, at least five times better because it already felt like it was handling on rails and now there is no body roll whatsoever which makes the car feel lighter than it really is because it's a fairly heavy car which people online and stuff do complain about because of the numbers blah 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 I don't know if you could hear the, the thud when I went over that speed bump um, but yeah I mean, like like the steering is so precise it definitely definitely feels like it's dry, like it rides on rails it's it's pretty nice but if you guys are looking for the sport lines for your guys genesis i would highly recommend it it's a perfect drop for daily driving if you don't want to spend a thousand plus dollars on coilovers i think the sport lines are probably the the springs that you would probably want to get i mean like if you would go and do the pro kit I, I don't I don't think that you're gonna get the drop that you really want to I, I wanted to lose all of the 
gap between my tire and my fender, which is what the majority of people want to do when they lower their cars. So, and, and it did that. It it damn near tucked my tire under my fender. It's it's really really close. If once I go and get spacers, it'll it, it'll make it look even lower because the top of the tire is going to get closer to the outside of the fender, so it'll look even better. So it's. I say for 250 bucks or however much they were right around that price you can't really beat much better prices than that so but yeah if this video helped you guys out if you guys were looking for Sportline Springs for your guys's car too and I if this review helped you out make sure to smash that thumbs up button make sure to subscribe to my channel throw some comments down below I'm more than welcome to, to answer you guys have any questions and always remember keep it random peace